Well, Danny Cohn and her boyfriend Mikey Tua just announced that their whole pregnancy and marriage was a prank and we definitely need to talk about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is pull different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and see what kind of lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I get started on this video, before I get started on this video, calm down and remember what I am saying. Remember the words coming out of my mouth. I do not condone what Danny and this dude Mikey did, okay? I don't condone it, all right? It was a brutal prank, it was kinda awful, but I'm a little bit of an optimist, so I'm gonna take a different angle on this subject than most of the other commentary channels are gonna take, all right? Those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, you've been living under a rock. Basically, Danny Cohn <laughs> is a 15-year-old uh, influencer, right? Blew up on, uh, you know, Musical.ly, which is now TikTok, gained a massive following. She has a YouTube channel with over a million subscribers, everything like that, all right? So anyways, she started posting on like Instagram and some other places that she was pregnant with her boyfriend's baby. Um, and supposedly she's not even 15, she's, she's 12. A bunch of people are saying that. I don't know, I don't know, all right? Anyways, um, but anyways, they, they posted about this and they've done a series back and forth on each other's channels about getting pregnant getting married and then they just did a final uh, fourth video about a gender reveal in which halfway through or about several minutes through they're like yo this was a prank and everything like that by the way that was the most awkward thing i've ever seen in my life but let's move forward okay so people are furious people are so upset about this like how could you this is nothing to joke about it's very reminiscent to what justin bieber uh did on april fool's day faking a pregnancy and people freaked out about that and for danny Cohn and mikey tua like i don't know would have been better on an april fool's day thing but anyways like i said i'm an optimist i'm trying to look at this situation from a different perspective and i think this was a good thing overall i think this was a good thing now remember i don't condone what they did like it is clear that what their motives were. It is absolutely clear what their motives were. And what they were trying to do was get people talking, to get views, to get money, all right? The whole back and forth of the videos, that is YouTube 101, bounce views back and forth to each other's channels. Both of you guys benefit, you get a bunch of views. Even in this last video they made, they put a bunch of ads, but they said 50% of the profits are going to Planned Parenthood, which was not linked in their description, which I think was a little bit weird. But anyways, I don't think their motives were pure. I don't think when they started out on this this prank, I don't think they were like, hey, we're gonna get the word out there about teen pregnancy. But here's the thing, with so many people being upset, all right, let me make it very clear. Danny Cohn is not the problem. Mikey TUA is not the problem, okay? We're the problem. All of us are the problem. Like, people are lying to themselves on a daily basis, right? Like, I remember, I remember my son asked me, he's like, Daddy, why is the news always just sharing negative things? Because that's what we want. That's what humans want. And the thing is that so many of us lack the self-awareness to just admit that, okay? We don't admit that we love watching the tea. We love controversy. We love these things, right? People were so invested in this story because Danny Cohn is underage, she was getting pregnant, and she was getting married. That is why people were invested in it. All right, that's the only reason, okay? And until you admit that, until you admit that to yourself, I'm letting you know right now, in my opinion, things won't get better, okay? Like, I was drawn to this story because of the same reason. I have no problem admitting that. But again, Danny Cohn is not the problem. We're all the problem. Why do you think all the commentary channels and drama channels and everything like that explode because everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to be curious about it. I just did a live stream earlier talking about the root of all of our problems and so much of it is because we don't like looking at ourselves. So many of us just sit on YouTube and we wanna watch other people and how messed up their lives are. We constantly wanna judge other people and say, oh, your life is messed up and we don't even look at ourselves. That's why, all right? But like I said, you are lying to yourself if you you think that you would have watched this video if if Danny if Danielle Cohn and Mikey Tua made a video 
that just said teen pregnancy TSA and you think you would have watched it, you're a liar, all right? Because you wouldn't have. Here's the thing, I did a little research. I wanted to do some research. Um, I went up and I looked up teenage pregnancy um, PSAs on YouTube, okay? The number one video, the number one video with I believe over six million views is a reaction to a PSA, okay? The second highest video is 1.1 million views, which was from six years ago, okay? Danielle Cohn is on track to surpass the second highest viewed video about teenage pregnancy. So at the end of the day, it's a good thing. More people are talking about it. Everybody making videos about teen pregnancy and Danny Cohn, it's a good thing. It got the conversation going because you know why? I hate to break it to you, I really do. People are not on YouTube looking up teen pregnancy PSAs. That's just the reality of it. So again, do I think Danielle Cohn's motives were pure? Hell no, I don't. I think it was for views, for money to get attention. You know, that's what it was, but it got people talking about this on a variety of different channels. Millions of people were are, are now aware of it and now they're talking about it. So I think it was an afterthought. Probably I'm assuming, I will assume that somebody in uh, Daniel Cohn's life was like, yo, you need to do something kind of positive with this, this prank, like it's on kind of far, like you need to do something positive. And I think it was an afterthought for them to do their little, um, you know, talk at the end, giving advice to like young kids. But the other thing that you have to realize too, who her primary demographic is. Her primary different demographic is kids around her age. So do you think me, a 33 year old man, if I made a video about teen pregnancy, do you think anybody would listen to me? Hell no, you know how I know that? Because when I was her age, I didn't wanna to listen to people talking about this stuff. So I think it is cool just pulling, just reaching in and pulling out the positives from this. I think it's cool that her and her boyfriend were talking about this stuff and the younger audience is watching it. Now, something else I saw in the comment section is, a bunch of people saying Danny Cohn is canceled. Ha! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna deem this the rice gum effect, all right? So those of you who aren't familiar with rice gum, he's not a great guy, but his primary audience, even though he's like 20 something, his primary audience is kids, okay? So iDubbbz, another content creator who has a series called Content Cop, made a video on rice gum, amazing video, one of the best just breaking down and dissecting a, a, a creator, just boom, right? iDub's video has over 41 million views, and guess what? Rice gum, it was not canceled. And here's the reason why. Because the people iDub's reached was people like me, people like you. He wasn't reaching kids. A bunch of kids probably saw it, but here's the thing, kids do not care. They do not care about the same moral and ethical things that you and I do. Rice Gum still has over 10 million subscribers. He's getting millions of views on his videos. He's still gaining views because his demographic does not care. So for people who think Danielle Cohn is getting canceled because of this, that is ridiculous. Like you can go look at her social blade right now. She has been gaining subscribers consistently throughout this entire situation. Yesterday she lost some and she's already gaining some again. So to her, it literally doesn't matter because her demographic does not care. Okay, so at the, end of at the end of the day, she got a conversation going with her demographic, which is young people and talked about these things. So like I said too, it's awesome that she's taking 50% of the proceeds, donating it to Planned Parenthood. Um, in my personal opinion, the whole PSA portion of it could have been better. It could have been um, a little bit more informational. Um, they could have practiced some lines. Uh, in the description down below, they put two links with barely any information about what those links are. They did talk a lot about um, safe sex, options if you do get pregnant. They also really emphasize, I think they did a good job emphasizing on opening up and talking to your parents about this if you are a child, like, or if you're a young person, like, talk to people about this, what you're going through, you know, practice like the safest methods. They even mentioned STDs and everything like that. Do I agree? with these kids doing their thing? Of course not, I'm a parent, I have a 10 year old son, it's something that I worry about all the time in the coming years and when he's a teenager. But the thing is, the thing is, at least they're getting the conversation going. So, was this a horrible prank? 
Yes. Do I condone it? No, but there are some positives that we can pull from the situation. And that's all we can do, baby. That's all we can do. All right, so let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. <laughs> chances are, <laughs> chances are that you watching this video were not subscribed to Danielle Cohn, so <laughs> there's nothing to even unsubscribe from. But anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I just made the post for the April Patreon Q&A. Go over, check it out, ask, ask your questions, and I will be answering them in the next week or so. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.